Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I had to get ready because I have to take my passport pictures like yesterday. Um, I don't have a passport and I'm going to Mexico in like two weeks, so I really need to get this done. And I thought that I would just sit down and film it since I'm doing it anyways. You definitely don't have to just use this for passport pictures. And honestly, you could do whatever you want for passport pictures. But this look to me is basically just like an enhanced version of myself. So like it really isn't that serious. You could do whatever you want if you're going to take your pictures, but I would just say like probably don't do anything crazy colorful or too overly dramatic because you just wanna look like yourself just, you know? So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please subscribe and let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the face. I'm trying this out for the first time. It's the Tarte Base Tape Hydrating Primer. This, from what I remember, smells like coconuts. I actually got this from Ulta a little while ago. I just haven't tried it yet. So this is what the packaging looks like. That's the back of it. So it has like a little pump like this and I'm just gonna pump a little bit on the back of my hand here. And then I'm gonna pick it up and apply it on the skin. Mm. Yes, it definitely smells straight up like a coconut. And now for foundation today, I wanna use something that I know I really, really love and looks really good in pictures. So I'm gonna be using the Dior Forever Foundation. I've heard that this is discontinued, but when I look it up on Sephora's website, and I think when I looked it up on Dior's website, they still had it, but when I look it up on Sephora's website, it looks like they just sort of like, I don't know if they reformulated and repackaged it, but there's something different going on there. I need to buy the new one to see if it's basically the same thing. So I'm just gonna dot this on my skin here and I'm gonna be blending this in with this Sigma F80 brush. This is their like anniversary collection one, which is very exciting. Um, I can't believe they've, well, I was gonna say I can't believe they've been around that long, but at the same time, I feel like I've been using them forever, so. But yeah, I think it's their like 10th anniversary. You wanna make sure that you bring it down the neck because you just don't want your face to be a different color from your neck. Even if it matches, I still always bring it down a little bit. And then I always do my nose last with whatever's left on the brush. Okay, and now I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. This is my favorite at the moment. I've been using it nonstop. So I'm gonna pop this here under the eyes in the shade 30. I'll blend those in here. This is the Crown C517 brush. And now for some glow, I'm gonna go into the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury and pop this on the high points of my face to give me that glow from within. It, this is just like one of my favorite products and it looks so natural on the skin. I'm gonna use my double-ended IT Cosmetics brush to blend this in. Okay, and then I'm going to cream contour with the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. Um, normally, like I wouldn't do this just because on me, a lot of times this can turn out really dramatic, but this product specifically makes it look so, so natural that like I end up not needing to contour at all after I've used this. So the color I think is what does it and the finish, I just feel like it just, it works so well with my skin. So I'm gonna apply here. And then you always wanna make sure you twist this closed and put the cap back on. So now I'm gonna use that double-ended IT Cosmetics brush and just start blending this in. And as you can see, that just blends in so easily. It's like you don't really have to pay much attention to it. And that's why I love this for even just like an everyday look is just cause it's so quick and it, it looks so natural when it's blended. You just wanna make sure that when you do the edge here, you just wanna make sure you don't have like a line of the contour. Then I bring it down the neck as well. I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever powders to set my under eyes. This is the H104 powder. I don't know what color this is, but I think it's, I don't know, but I usually just use mainly the H104 and then I add just a little bit of that sometimes. I don't have on it any spray tan right now. So the H104 is probably the only one I'm gonna use today. Um, and I'm gonna be using the powder and sculpt brush from Charlotte Tilbury. Pat this in and set right here under my eyes. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit of the Laura Mercier 
translucent powder using the same brush and I'm just gonna set the more oily areas on my face which is right here where my pores are and on the side of my nose a lot of times I'll bring it up on the center of my forehead but I realized it's right here in between my eyebrows like I knew that got oily but I never really like focused it focused it here until recently and I've noticed a difference here I'll see it um, so now I'm gonna use some bronzer. This has been my favorite lately. It's pretty new. I've used it just a few times, but I love it every time I use it. And I keep it in the box just because I love keeping stuff in the box. Um, this is the Tom Ford Soleil bronzer. This thing is huge and it's such a beautiful shade. It just works really well with my complexion. So I'll put it up close so you can see. The only downside of this beautiful packaging is that it gets dirty really easily in there. Maybe I should just wipe it down every time. Um, but I'm gonna use this double-ended brush from Hourglass to apply this. And I'm gonna start here on the forehead, get the sides, and then bring it along the cheek area sort of like a bronzer contour blush combo kind of go in that just that whole area and then I bring it down the jawline and feather down the neck for my highlighter today I'm gonna use the champagne pop highlighter from Becca this is a mini sized one. Oh, it's so cute um, this is what this looks like it's a very I'm sure you guys have seen this. It's just a very beautiful champagne color. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this with my Sigma F35 brush. So I'm bringing that there into the brow bone too. And over, it's layering over top of that Charlotte Tilbury highlighter that's underneath. And it just all kind of like goes together and looks really, really glowy and pretty. So I'm also going to rock this here on the nose and the cupid's bow. And then for blush, I wanna go with something very natural, just kinda of like, looks like a natural flush. So I'm gonna use the Pillow Talk blush from Charlotte Tilbury, the booby blushes. And I'm gonna use my F40 brush from Sigma to apply this. Oh, it's so freaking pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with the Morphe setting spray. So for my eyebrows, I'm gonna be using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade number four. I'm gonna whip through this really quickly. Okay, so the brows are on. Normally I would go in with the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC just because it's my favorite primer and anytime I'm doing eyeshadow, I love that because it really blinks out the surface and primes them just the way I like. However, today I don't wanna completely cover up the eyelid because I don't want it to look like just like super opaque and full coverage. So I'm gonna be trying this out today. This is the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish eyeshadow primer. Um, I've actually never tried this before, but I've heard a lot of people really like it. So I'm gonna use this and then set this with powder on my eyes because I don't want something to be like so crazy full coverage on my lids. Okay, so I'm just gonna rub this in with my fingers. I put way too much in the back of my hand. A lot just like came shooting right out. Okay, I'm gonna set that with just a little bit of the Makeup Forever powder. What I like to do when I'm doing something, I don't wanna say natural, but where I want it to look more natural, but I still want like some eyeshadow on or whatever, I'll just go in with the bronzer that I used on my face and use that in my eyes. So I'm gonna grab any fluffy brush. Let me just make sure that there's no like eyeshadow on here. This is the Smith 232. It's my favorite brush because it's really, really fluffy and it's the biggest one and the shape of it's really nice. So. I'm gonna take this brush and go directly into the face bronzer and I'm gonna go with the natural shadow in my eye. So I'm just gonna bring this in there and just wiggle it in that crease and also bring it underneath as well. Make sure that anytime you work on the lower lash line, you look up just like that so that it can just get under there without feeling like you're poking your eye out. And once a lot of the product is off, I'm gonna go a little bit higher to blend that out a little bit more. And to me, that just looks so natural. It looks like that's the actual 
color going on in my eye. You can even bring this and connect it into the nose contour here if you want, like that. So it's all just one cohesive shadow. I'm also gonna tap a little bit just onto the lid itself, mainly on the outer part of the lid. And then I'm just gonna go into the highlighter that we used on the face, pick that up on my finger, and pop that on the inner part of the lid. And now this is a little bit frosty, so I'm gonna kind of go over that with my brush just to diffuse it a little bit, just cause I don't want this to be like super metallic or anything. I want it all to just kind of like blend together really nicely. I'm also gonna pop that up here on the brow and then go back in with that fluffy brush and just blend everything out, kind of go over that a little bit, kind of diffuse that so it's not crazy shiny. If you went overboard with the bronzer, I feel like I may have just a little bit. Um, you can always go in with any of your face powders and go in with the fluffy brush right at that edge and it will help to diffuse that edge so that it's not like a harsh difference between the dark color and then the skin color. It will just sort of mend them nicely and blend it even better. That's also what you can do for the bottom lash line. If you ever bring any of your shadow down too far, you can add the face powder there too. Okay, man, I've got like this major itch. So I wanna add a little bit of liner. I don't normally do this. A lot of times I'll just skip out on this, but I want to define just my lash line a little bit. So I'm gonna use the eye powder pencil from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the brown color. Run this right along the lashes on the top. And I'm just grabbing this flat definer brush with my bronzer on it and I'm gonna use that to blend out and smudge this liner. You wanna work one eye at a time so that the liner doesn't dry completely and then you can't blend it. And I'm just going in and blending that out. It did go a little bit smokier than I was hoping, but it'll be okay. Whatever's left over on this brush, I'm just running right along the lash line. Not much though, just a little bit. And I would say anytime you're doing any sort of look where you just kind of want to look like you just more enhanced, make sure you're doing something that is unique to yourself. Um, how do I say this? Like for me, I love nude in my waterline. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that just because that's just how I feel the most myself. I feel like it's my go-to for an enhanced version of myself. Even in dramatic looks, that's just like what I do. So if that's not your thing, don't do it then. Like make sure you're sticking just true to yourself with it because you don't wanna like feel like you don't look like yourself in any of your like pictures or anything like that. So I'm adding this one from Rimmel into my waterline. So I'm gonna apply some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. You can either just go in with mascara. I am going to apply false lashes most likely just because I want that extra fullness. All right, so I've got the mascara on the top. I'm gonna be applying these lashes from Velour. They're called Mini Me. These are in their Effortless Collection. These basically taper from short to long so that it will naturally just, it'll look super natural on your eyes. You don't have to cut them so they're not gonna be like extra long or anything. They're very easy to use. So um, I'm just gonna pop these on really quick. If this isn't quick for you, like don't feel like you need to do this. And there you can see the difference between with the lashes and without kind of just like what that does. I feel like it just really looks like I've got crazy good mascara on um, because they are more of a natural eyelash. All right, my lashes are on. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some bottom lash mascara. Okay, so time for lips. I wanna do something natural, but still apparent. Like I don't want it to be just like a lip balm kind of thing. So I'm gonna go into Oak Lip Pencil from MAC and line my lips with this. I'm just filling that in. And then I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lipstick, and I'm just gonna tap this over the top. And that's it. This is the finished look up close. So you can see it. I think it just looks like 
an enhanced version of myself like it looks like I'm wearing makeup but it's not too much or too over the top so that is everything for this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed this whole video and this makeup look I know it's super simple and honestly you could do whatever you want it's really not that big of a deal but yeah, I, I had fun sharing it with you and uh, let me know if you end up doing something like this, if you have to take pictures for anything coming up. Thank you all so much for watching. Please leave your requests down below. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.